Okay, every pony. Let's talk about Spike at your service. Spike at your fucking service. Ugh. I hate this episode. I fucking loathe it. It's terrible. Worst episode of the entire show. <laughs> oh, I am going to quite thoroughly enjoy tearing it Whoa, apart. Whoa, Ellie, calm down a bit, would ya? Cam goes pony? What are you doing here? Shush. Did you just shush, shush me? I'm here to talk to you about Spike at your service. What? Don't tell me you enjoyed that train wreck. Shh. No, it was bad, but there's a good reason for it. How can there be a good reason for- Have you ever heard of Adventure Time? You better stop shushing me! It's analysis time, come on grab your friends, we'll talk about Meriwether Williams with Cam the Robot and Ellie the Pony, the fun will never end, it's analysis time. Alright, what could Adventure Time possibly have to do with Spike at Your Service? Well, as it turns out, Meriwether Williams, who helped write Spike at Your Service, also writes for Adventure Time. Yeah, so? So, the reason behind Spike at Your Service is poor writing, characterization, pacing, and altogether lack of continuity or regard towards established My Little Pony canon is that it is a result of Meriwether Williams being used to writing for Adventure Time and some of Adventure Time's themes subsequently leaking into a writing for My Little Pony. This is noticeable when you compare Spike at Your Service to a typical Adventure Time episode and see the similarities in themes, ideas, humor, pacing, and characters. That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, really? Let's talk about the episode then, and I'll explain. So tell me, what are some things you didn't like about the episode? Oh, so I get to talk now? Okay, where to start? Oh, yes! Let's start with the most obvious. Spike isn't an idiot! Now, granted, Spike has times where he's fairly oblivious, but this episode just turns him into a full-on moron. First of all, he runs right into the pole where the balloon is tied, like he's fucking blind. Then he never thinks to breathe fire on the timber wolves. Timber wolves! They are made of wood. They would burn right up. Next, he can't even handle the simplest of household chores. Chores are practically all he does, working as Twilight's assistant. Speaking of... Spike has lived practically his whole life with Twilight, so he should know when Twilight isn't really listening. For goodness sake, he above everyone else should know how Twilight is when she's reading. Then there's this noble dragon code bullshit that makes absolutely no sense and just completely comes out of left field. Then he falls for the most obviously fake Timberwolf ever concocted. I mean, for heaven's sake, the CMC could have made a better prop than that. It's almost like Spike is a completely different character in this episode. Hell, maybe it would have been better if the writers just came up with a new character for the episode. Quite so. A new character could have fit the role much better, but MLP isn't the sort of show that just introduces new characters willy-nilly. However, Adventure Time is exactly the kind of show that would do something like that. Adventure Time introduces and removes characters left and right. The start of an episode would see the introduction of a new character, and the episode would end with the character exploding. Not to mention, the idea of Spike at your service would be nothing new to Adventure Time. Think about it. Finn and Jake are walking in the woods one day, and they come across a small, defenseless creature being attacked by monsters. Finn and Jake save the creature, because... You know, that's exactly what they do. Now the creature feels like it owes its life to them because of some noble code thing that the creature's species has. But said creature just makes a huge mess of things, so Finn and Jake come up with a ridiculous and elaborate plan to get rid of the creature by making it think it will save their life somehow. Now that I think about it, if this was an episode of Adventure Time, I would probably actually watch that. And if Meriwether Williams had this idea for an Adventure Time episode but decided to adapt it to MLP, it would make sense that they would attempt to shoehorn the character of the small creature into Spike for the sake of convenience. Hence Spike's total lack of continuity with the rest of the series. Exactly. Okay, but about that ridiculous elaborate plan. What. The. Fuck. This has to be the dumbest plan anyone in MLP has ever devised, and that includes the Cutie Mark Crusaders. The sheer ludicrousness of it all just boggles the mind. Even in a show about magical talking horses, this is pushing it. 
And yet, in a show where a group of businessmen decide that the most efficient way of protecting innocent creatures from monsters is to build a gigantic robot that will suck up all the small creatures and keep them trapped inside a safety bubble, it's a little mundane. Anything else you didn't like about the episode? The ending! I think we all wanted to see Spike breathe fire onto that timber wolf and just watch it burst into flames, but no. He throws a rock at it and it chokes to death. That's got to be the most anticlimactic ending I've ever seen. Do the writers have no respect for proper storytelling? Clearly not, given Meriwether's history. Adventure Time doesn't just not have respect for storytelling, it takes proper storytelling out into the yard and shoots it. Adventure Time loves the anticlimactic ending, the deus ex machina, and any other writing taboo you can think of. Adventure Time embraces its own stupidity in such a way that you're just left in awe of its satirical nature. Okay, so basically you're telling me that Spike at Your Service is an Adventure Time episode trapped in an MLP body. Yep. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll concede that point, but it doesn't change my opinion about this being the worst episode of MLP ever written. Well, yes, the episode is still bad, but it's important to look at why it's bad. Anyway, how are we going to end this video? Adventure Time never concerned itself with the writing a solid ending. Why should we? What? So... Brony on!